Hello everyone. Today, today I am a cheater. Cheers. Good morning everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I am basically Jen and welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be comparing Figpin to the new Funko Pop pins. So we are going to look at the Figpin first. Um, I'm going to tell you right now I am a Figpin collector, so I am obviously going to be a little bit biased in that sort of direction, but I do understand that they are two totally different um styles and concepts and stuff so first the fig pin comes in its own little protective clear case it also comes with a um acrylic um fancier kind of case with its own little um graphic card is very good quality hard enamel and it sits on a stand like that this is what it stands with it stands with a nice harder plastic backer you just stick it on like that and that's how it stands these are great i wear them all the time they're my go-to so now for the pop pin I'm just going to go ahead and say I personally collect the um, smaller pop pins and I personally wish they would have just stuck with doing these and just made, just like expanded on this one. I don't like the circle ones, but I do like the actual like figure pop pin style and I just wish they would have expanded that instead of... Um, being completely obvious and um, coming after fig pin but I do I like the box I love that it's black instead of the normal white and I love the um, the gold accents to it I love it it makes it look a lot more fancier than a regular pop would and here is it with the regular pop. It is still the same standard size. It's just a thinner box. Um, we're using this guy because I got him in the mail today. Um, I do collect some Funko. Funko is like my side piece too, but Fig Pin is my bay. So there we go. Nice gold, there's the back. Um, I don't actually collect DC anymore, but um, this was one of the first ones that I saw on eBay and it was only 20 shipped, which is cool because they are 15.90 retail and I got it for 20 bucks. So I mean, for being impatient, that's pretty good. It's really good. All right, so let's open him up Ta -da! all right so this this is a nice like velvety covered plastic he fits in there very well he's not coming out unless you you know really bend the plastic but I feel like it just I wouldn't take it in and out. If you wanted to keep it in the box, I wouldn't take it in and out because I feel like this wouldn't hold up very well very long with the in and the out of it. So here we go. Here he is. He feels absolutely huge. So here he is. Next to a pop. Absolutely huge. Compare it to size so much bigger it is so bulky like it is decently heavy like 
Honestly, I think it's heavier than an XL fig pin. I feel like this is really thick. And his, his um, head is thicker than his body and his eyes do bulge up. And there, his hair's got some rise to it too. There is the back. It's got a um, patterned back and it comes with butterfly backings. Here is the stand. It is just a little wire stand with the logo. It just comes off when you squeeze it together. And then there's that, it just comes off. All right, so here we go. Here is an up close of our standard size fig pin. And here is our Funko. So with this one, you can adjust how it stands so if you want it to lay back like that you can but you can also have it stand up taller we have our standard size fig pin our pop pin and then we just have a normal pop so you can see how they look together and over here is our giant XL fig pin which doesn't even fit in the frame and I'm okay with it not fitting but there we go there we have it so you can stand like that if you wanted to wear it, I'll have to see how heavy this thing is. I feel like that'd be really bulky. But I do wear XL fig pins, but I feel like this one's, because of its size, it's like side. I don't know if I'd actually, who am I kidding, I would wear it. Here you can have a look of it actually being worn. Here is an XL fig pin with a standard size fig pin. And then over here I did put the Joker on this side because that is probably the best best place to wear it is up here and then I do have some of the other size for comparison here is a regular pop pin compared to this massive beast so I mean I don't personally love the huge Funko pins I do like pins I do sometimes like Funko and I'm def definitely thinking about getting the Harry Potter ones because I don't have a lot of, there's not a lot of Harry Potter stuff that I actually want to collect. I'm definitely not ever going to collect like big series of Funko Pops because that's just ridiculous. I'm like a fig pin completist, so I cannot be a completist in Funko and fig pin and fig pin will win 100 out of 100 times, just saying. Quality wise, fig pin is definitely better. Um, I'm obviously... I would pay $15 for this as opposed to $15 for this, like, this just doesn't, this feels cheap to me, honestly. It's big, it's bulky, it looks cool, but it, it just, is it's cheaply made. Like, it's not as nice as it could be. So, I mean, overall, if you're just planning on keeping it in the package, then it this is this is great. I'm gonna try putting it on a vest and see how that works. But for right now, if you're a pop collector, just stay collecting pops. And if you like pins, definitely check out Fig Pin. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about it or any sort of ideas that you would like to see. Check out my social media. I have a few Instagrams if you want to check those out and see the rest of my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.